big news today is a major discovery, a new gas field in Britain, and it has the potential to power our whole country completely with gas, a new kind of gas though. This gas field is literally the fields of our country where we can grow grass and we can turn that into gas and put it into our gas grid and power ourselves carbon free. Behind me is the first project that we're building, our first green gas mill. 3,000 acres of land around us will grow the grass to make enough gas for 4,000 local homes by around about this time next year. It's a very exciting discovery. It's our new North Sea and it's right underneath our feet. So today there's a, a big concrete pour happening. So this is the bases where the chambers are gonna sit on top of. Uh, the big circular ones behind me here are where the, the main digesters are going to be placed on top of that and that's where the, the, the grass digestate material is going to be put into there and that's where it ferments away and makes the, the green gas. So once the, the bases are poured and we put the chambers on top of those later in this year, then a lot of the pipe work where all the digestate and the gases get pumped from one chamber, one section to another, will start to be put in. A lot of the pipe work is above ground in an anaerobic digestion plant. That's so just in case there is leaks that you can see it and it's easy, easier to fix. But when it's finished, you'll see the chambers, they're quite tall, they're 12, 14 meters tall with the domes on top of those as well, where all the gas is made from there. Construction process for this plant should take us to round about beginning of next year when everything will be finished and we start to make some green gas from there. For the green gas plants that Ecotricity is building, we're going to be using a herbal lay as the main feedstock. This is not just single species grassland like we've got behind us here, but it will actually be a complete mixture of species of sangfoil, clovers and a whole range of species in it. And the reason for using a mixed herbal lay is that they have deep penetrating roots so they bring up nutrients. Having things like clover in there means that it, it actually fixes nitrogen, so you don't need to add fertilizer. They're actually much more drought resistant and they can be harvested over a longer period of time. In terms of wildlife, intensive single species grass lays are very poor for wildlife. They're very tight, very dense, have fertilizer applied to them. In fact, if you go across anywhere in this countryside and see these bright green um, silage fields there, devoid of, of many species of wildlife. You don't get skylarks in, in silage lays. Whereas the much more open herbal lays will flower at different times, providing pollen and nectar for insect species and feeding areas for birds. We'll actually manage the herbal lays in a way that we can maximize um, bird breeding opportunities without damaging their nest by the way we, the sequencing of cutting. So we'll actually be creating green gas and improving the environment on the farmland. 